What are you doing? Get out from there. Chungus. You're fat. Stop looking for food. I'm leaving. Bye. I'm about to prank my mom. I'm gonna scare her by starting up the bed. <laughs> Got her. Just getting this Wawa run in real quick. I'm super tired. Didn't sleep well last night. The pollen is killing me. We're about to go do some fishing. And what I mean fishing is, um, we're gonna be looking for some fast people to run in the C8, so. Those are some really fast bikes I went by. Bunch of R6s. They would slaughter me. I'll, let you, I'll bring you guys back when we catch something or when I roll up on something, so. Let's get on the move, baby. Guys, I don't know what just happened to my C8. I don't know if I broke it or what. I'm driving all day perfectly fine, trying to find him and his GT350R to run him, but now I run into him. I'm driving and all of a sudden, it's, it felt like one of the caliber or like the emergency brake locked up. And I was driving for like 10 minutes prior, took that turn over there and it started screeching. I thought maybe like an axle broke or something, but I didn't hit any bumps. And it was, it was driving perfectly fine and all of a sudden it went, like started screeching real hard. I pulled in here, was doing it. It didn't do it as I was coming in here a little bit. Like it stopped, it went away. I don't know, hopefully there was just like a rock in there or something. But I'm scared. I was about to go put gas in it too, but. I hope nothing broke. Hope nothing broke. Let's check out this GT350R though. Look at this man. He had a blue S550 just like me. Now look, you got an R. Chevy shit <laughs> whoa, whoa, shot. we about to run it, hold up. <laughs> fix yourself, see, fix yourself, because we about to run it, we about to gap this fool real quick. Care if I open the door? Oh. Man, why is your carpet all dirty? This man. I love these Recaros though. He's got 1,100 miles on it. Look at this man. Trash, who puts change right there in, on a GT350R? All that change right there? Jesus. I bought it with change. The head change? <laughs> he paid with change? This man wrote him a check. He's a baller. He got the carbon fiber. What was the final price on it? I'm not saying that with a camera. Uh, I'm not saying that. You know they're expensive. This man got the carbon fiber wheels all dirty too. I wouldn't drive those wheels. That's like $15,000 in wheels I think from the dealer. Congrats. We're gonna run them. We're about to find out. We we'll to find out who's quick. Right now, Chevy made a good <laughs> oh my. Drop down in the comments who's gonna win. Well, there's another vet. But yeah, drop down in the comments. Who do you got your money on? Shelby GT350R or 2020 C8? That might or not just broke, I don't know. Hopefully not. Can you give us a little rev? That is nice. That's how you break in a car, ladies and gentlemen. Rev it out, what was that rev to? Like four, four grand. Just blew up my camera speakers, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that sounds super nice. I love the magnetic gray. Yeah, I didn't think it was this good when I first saw it. Like in pictures it wasn't that great, but when I saw it in person I was like, man. How much did they give you for your blue S550? Not a lot. No. Hey, how many miles do you have on it? That's it? Yeah. That's why you're driving it everywhere. I know. You killed that car. Oh, yeah. Didn't you wear out the carpet? Like from where your clutch was? Yeah. <laughs> this man slaughtered his old car. I can't imagine what he's going to put this one through. <laughs> but yeah. Is this your daily? Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> A daily driven GT350R with carbon fiber wheels on it. I live down at this, Abbey, so this guy's crazy. He's, he's crazy. Who would daily drive a GT350R? Please, oh, hold up. Turn in here, please. Ooh. I'm getting back in the car. <laughs> we need to go get them. <laughs> nah. Um, I, what was that, a Mercy Lago? Yeah. That would definitely get me, but that'd be a cool. I mean, look at that, that's a, that's a mean lineup right there. How much power does this make to the wheels they come from the factory? Probably like high fours. High 400s? Hey, there's a fox body. Fox life. 
That, yes, my car put 440 to the wheels. If you didn't watch that uh, Dyna video, click right up here. My boy Steve will put the link for you. <laughs> yeah, this, what does it come with from the factory though? Like five something? 536, that's that's good. Like 4, 470 or something like that. That might be a good run. Yeah. I'm sure you'll get me though. I don't know. Because you're automatic. Yeah, I mean, you can drive. I've seen you drive stick before. Yeah, true. He can drive. Don't, don't, don't sleep on this guy. I've seen him bang gears. <laughs> he ain't sleeping. Dude, I saw a 370 that blew up on um, 24. I was like, what the fuck? What color was it? I just saw him. It was my buddy Cameron's car. I just messaged him. Did it like look? I just saw it go by on the flatbed and I texted him. I was like, is everything good? It was like fire and shit. Really? From the engine bay, it looked like. Dang. Sorry, Cameron. Hope your car is good. But yeah, he was going to buy my uh, the wheels off the GTR. Oh, really? Yeah, but um, probably a good thing he didn't because he might need the money for the motor now. Hopefully it didn't blow up. I really hope it didn't blow up. That sucks. It's so nice though, dude. It looks like a Ferrari. It does. It really looks like a supercar, but it just needs more power. That's the only problem. Yeah. It looks, it handles amazing and stops good and looks phenomenal and the interior is amazing. Do you call a tow truck yet? <laughs> no, I'm not calling one. <laughs> We're driving it home. She'll be alright. The Forsman, they had a Z06 I was looking at before I was getting this. Really? Yeah, they had a black uh, 3LT. I wasn't a guy, it was like 80 some thousand. Yeah. But, uh, it was like 86 or 89 or something like that. But they sold it right before, like, after yeah. I like, saw it. My dad's friend, or actually my friend too, Bob, he knows the owner of Oarsman Chevrolet, which like kind of hooked me up and got me a really good deal on this one. I got lucky that it was there and they were selling it, so just got in on the right time. This is the Oarsman in Baltimore, right? Yeah, right off Security yeah, yeah, Boulevard. Yeah. 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 My tags might expire. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna do about that. I think I'll be able to allow to drive it still though. So did it feel like it was like grunt? It didn't feel like it was it didn't feel like it was like stopping me or anything. Not honestly, it didn't feel like it was like trying to hold me back. I honestly think it was just like maybe a rock got caught up in there. It sounded from this side. But when it first happened, it was loud like really really loud and i got really scared i was like oh man something's messed up it's definitely nice man thank you, you also buy the first year production car, though. yeah i mean we're gonna send it what is that six for where your, your, uh... oh that's that's it's just a six uh, the one youtuber I, he's really cool i like him hopefully one day i could do a video with him he's super cool but uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if it makes the noise real quick. Um, let's find out. Did you hear it when you were pulling in? Yeah. I don't hear it. I think it was, uh, hopefully, I think it was just a rock. But dude, it scared me. Like I had a pull over, I had a straight heart attack. I saw you, I was like, this man blew his car up. Already. You know I run my car as hard. Yeah. Wait, hopefully it was just a rock. When did you get rid of the blue car, the, like the blue stain? I got rid of it for um, my F-150. I needed it more for war, uh, work and stuff, so I just got rid of it. Um, I only had like 30,000 miles on it, I think. It wasn't too bad. I liked that car a lot. That's it? Yeah. Wow. I had it a year and some, but that was a lot of miles for one year. This is going to be a good run. You want to do it right now or you want to do it another day? Um, it's up to you. Let's I mean, do it another day. Let me get a little do you want to um all right we'll do it definitely we'll definitely line up another day drop down in the comments if you want to see that race who are you going to put your money on that bike was loud 2020 c8 made 440 to the wheels 2019 shelby gt 350r which i absolutely love in magnetic gray oh here's some fast bikes oh get back in the car <laughs> They would gap us. But nah, congrats, really, congrats on the GT350. Nice, Thank you. I saw that video of you uh, driving your Cadillac. <laughs> Destroying it. <laughs> Thank you. At least you watched my, hey, there's my neighbor. Yeah. I told him I, I wanted to race him too. 16 and 17, like those early ones, they had like engine problems. Did they really? They blow. It's so new, that's why. The new, the new production stuff is, 
it's so iffy sometimes, but I'm gambling with the C8. Oh, I pray to Jesus that was just a rock. And <laughs> next video, we're gonna run. That GT 350R looks so mean. Ah, oh, my seat's reflecting it with the red. Oh, there she goes. Boy. That thing is mean. Woo! That thing sounds nice. You can smell it breaking in. God, I love that smell. This smell's already gone. I already ruined it. I broke it in too hard. But God, I love that car. It sits so fat from the back. A little backstory. Um, that is uh, Keith. His name is Keith. I met him because we had pretty much the same. We had the same exact S uh, S550 2016. I believe his was 2016 too. But we had the same exact color. His was a performance back stick shift. He likes to drive stick. Mine was a uh, 6R80 six-speed automatic because I wanted to put a Whipple on it right away and probably make like 650, 700 with it and race it a lot. But that was never the case because I had to drive it with work and a lot and stuff. So that blower never happened, unfortunately. And then I got a truck. But who looked? Another Corvette. Yeah, that was pretty sick. But uh, yeah, we're about to make some. Go get some gas and hopefully we can do a little quick pull today if not he's gonna come with us to the car show coming up um it's supposed to be a lot of people going but uh yeah we'll see what happens all right guys this is the next day my camera i don't even know what happened it the battery died it was bugging out but anyway me and my boy keith we met back up got the c8 out got the gt 350r this, he's breaking in this bad boy right here. Just flipped, what, over a thousand miles, you said? A little over a thousand. He wants to get an oil change, go over the whole car, make sure everything's good. I know it's a brand new car, but still, this is his baby. He's gotta make sure it's 100% before he runs this beast over here. <laughs> I've been running it since like 100 miles were on it, but it don't even matter, forget it. But drop down in the comments who do you think is gonna win. My car made 440 to the wheels. Keith's car makes like what, 470 something-ish? 476, so that's apples to apples comparison. This is dead on the money and gonna be a very good race. So it's all gonna come down to how Keith drives the car and how it's gonna hook up because my car is definitely gonna hook and book, but in, like probably from like 20 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour up, but Keith, I don't know, if he's banging gears, I like how he drives, and I know how he drives, he might spin. Spinning ain't winning. But we will see, drop down in the comments below, who do you think is gonna win? 2020 C8, 2019 GT350R. I'm really curious, I can't wait till he changes the oil and we get this thing rocking and rolling, because we're gonna run a few times and it's gonna be good, so. Make sure you subscribe, drop down in the comments, let me know what you think's gonna happen. Um, that's gonna roll it. Stay tuned for Monday's upload because it's gonna be a bang. I'm out guys, peace.